This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Center at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. Missing values are inevitable in surveys and often these are left blank. However, when checking the data after data entry, it is then impossible to distinguish between genuine missing values and data that have just not been entered. For this reason, we recommend using missing value codes. It's then easy to see which data are missing and which data have not been entered. Many packages have ways of assigning and dealing with missing values. CS Pro uses value sets to set missing value codes. You may remember from the previous demonstration that there was a column labelled special that we always skipped over when setting value labels. This is used by CS Pro to set missing value codes. You should try to be consistent in your choice of missing value codes. For coded data, the digit 9 is a popular choice, but you must ensure the code is not already being used. We will start with the sex of the respondent, which currently uses codes 1 and 2, so a missing value code here of 9 is fine. We select the item to display the value set created in the previous demonstration. We right click on the last label, or female in this case, and choose add value. We give the label as missing and enter 9 in the from column. We then move to the special column. We click the down arrow and choose missing. We press enter to save this label and escape to finish. In the same way, we can set a missing value code for uh, age of respondent, for the type of wall, the type of roof, the type of floor, and the items for kitchen, for pit latrine, and for bath shelter. When we come to the activity code, we can't use code 9 for missing, as this has already been assigned as carpentry. This item has length 2, so to maintain some degree of consistency, we will set the missing value code to be 99. So we right click on the last label, we choose add value, and we have the label as missing and the code as 99. We know that checkboxes, such as those used for sources of income, would have a tick for yes and a blank for no. We converted these to uh, ones and zeros for CS Pro and created an appropriate value set. We could add a code 9 for missing as we've done with some other items, but first let's look at a completed questionnaire. We can see that pension and sale of livestock are the two sources of income for this household. We assume that the other two items, the sale of crops and salary from employment, are not sources of income. However, from this question alone, there is no way to distinguish between a no response and a missing value. The box is either ticked for yes or blank for no, so there are only two possible states. Now consider the questions for kitchen, pit latrine and bath shelter for this same household. Because we have separate boxes for yes and no, there are three possible states. Yes can be ticked, no can be ticked, or both can be left, left blank, as is the case with bath shelter for this household. And this piece of information is clearly missing. Of course, there is a fourth state, which is both boxes being ticked, but that's another issue. With this in mind, it doesn't make sense to set missing value codes for the sources of income, for data coming from checkboxes. Now let's consider household size. Clearly we cannot use 9 as the missing value code as this is a feasible value for this item. We could use 99 as we have already restricted values as being from 1 to 20. However, we will choose minus 9 as the missing value code. So we select household size, we right click on valid values, we choose add value and 
we give the label as missing and minus 9 in the from column. Then we choose missing in the special column. We do the same for the number of economically active people. When it comes to setting missing value codes for the income items, we have no choice but to use negative values as we have already set the entire range of positive values that will fit in this item in the valid values range. So here we will set the missing value code to minus 999.99. We set this for all four of the income items. A special type of missing value is one that occurs when a question is not applicable according to the response from an earlier question. In our questionnaire, the income amounts in question 2b are not applicable for sources of income that have not been selected in question 2a. It is often useful to distinguish between values that are missing for other reasons and values that are not applicable. For the four income items, we will set not applicable codes of minus 888.88. Again, we do this using value sets. We display the existing value set and right click on the last label to add a value. We give the label as not applicable and the value as minus 888.88. Then in the special column, we choose not, app not applicable. We now have a complete set of missing value codes for our questionnaire. We have shown how to use value sets for missing values and how to distinguish missing from not applicable. We have consistently used the digit 9 for missing and 8 for not applicable. We have also been consistent in using positive codes for coded data and negative codes for numeric items. The key point is to use missing value codes that are not feasible values for the item. If you, if you were recording temperatures in the Arctic, for instance, you would have to think very carefully about your missing value code. No, we have not set missing value codes for the identification items. This is because these items cannot, by definition, be missing. Without both the village code and the household number, we cannot identify the household.